Okay, I think we are live. It is episode 44 of Relegation Regen Rebuild 2 with Parma. And today it is time to go through the Europa League group stages. How exciting is that? Hopefully we will do more than that on this stream alone. I'm hoping to get through the ch January transfer window as well. At least we did play the first game last episode. So if you didn't check that out then uh, you probably should have but as you can see on the table bit of a spoiler there we've won our first game it wasn't very exciting so but we did score a great goal so I'd recommend you go at least see what the great goal was so That's something that you definitely can't see here. And uh, as always, for the people who are watching this after it's gone live, do take a couple of minutes to share the stream around. Make sure to edit the thumbnail and the tile and the description and everything. So, um, uh, yeah, feel free to jump a couple of minutes forward. Alright, so that's this code done. Which is fantastic. Can put the stream up on the phone as I see my first comment. Who is it? Melanie Shrain Shraniuk. Hello mate. How are you doing? That was fast, by the way. I just really gone live, basically. Let's go to live ones. Just need to edit out the title, uh, edit out the description and the thumbnail. That's all we need to do. Put the links down there, and we'll be good to go. All right. Right, so the thumbnail it is episode 44. All right, fantastic. Save that. And uh we'll just copy over the link and we'll put it the other tab. Wonderful. What's your opinions on career mode for FIFA 20? Do you think it looks good? Well, I definitely think it looks good. Do I think it's going to be good? Well, I'll have to wait and see. Obviously, it looks good. Like, dynamic player potential is something that we've been waiting for, like, forever, basically. Not even four or five years, like forever. One of the things that we wanted from the start. Hello Sam, how are you doing mate? Good to see you so early as well. Got a, got a few viewers already. Did the squad report last time out of course. And uh, we're looking good. Yeah, already 54% on shared sales, that was looking nice. Yeah, just um, the first time we've had improvements since, like, real improvements since FIFA 13, where career mode has felt fresh and new and exciting. And uh, it's been a long time, man. It's, it really has. And I started out YouTube in the middle of that crisis. Straight after training in the pre-season tournaments were introduced. So, really, since I started YouTube, there's been no changes to this game mode whatsoever until now. Mm 
which is a really sad state of affairs. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Why doesn't this load? There we go. Like, for for example, the AI teams being uh, better picked, it means that I don't have to... means that people don't have to get a second controller, and I don't have to spend five minutes editing this thing, like everyone else that has a second controller. It's just... St minimal stuff like this that I really appreciate, you know. At the end of the day, all we want is to see the game moving forward. Um, Gallo should be on this bench, let's face it. Yeah, Fernandez for Fauna. Didn't felt like a great addition to the side, strangely. But uh, we'll go easy on him. Go easy on him. Uh, Fernandez kind of need a midfielder there, so I think he's gonna get the boot for who I'm not so sure of. I would have liked to have um, a decent midfielder, or maybe even like put Rito as a centre mid. Like that would be an option as a central attacking mid. That is. I think we're good like this. I think I'm gonna leave it. Garcia Legea on the wing for Fofana since it was disappointing. Fazic was really good, but Fernandez with the five star, five star. I mean, he can't really deny that. And he's taller, and he's definitely not done anything wrong so far. Uh, SC Braga, they do have a good sign here. Very good uh, centre back pairing and a uh, good backup in Amaruo. If you can play right back, which I think he used to do back in the old FIFAs, he used to play at wing back. Let me see his pace. See, sprint speed's good, so I'm going to put him on the wing. I'm going to put him in the wing back spot. That's a, a great improvement. Navais, he can play centre mid, so we'll definitely put him in centre mid, as he's a camp. And we'll stick this 77 right winger in. Can I? No, this guy can't. But Singh can go left mid, but then this guy couldn't go inside, so we'll leave it. Um, this guy can only play striker. This guy's too bad. I'm gonna put another. Oh, we've got a Chevango Junior, lads. He's a five foot six Mozambique one. Is that the right word? I, it's been forever that I've been on this channel and it, it really feels like forever that we haven't had... Yeah. There, there's been so many minor fixes that I kind of wished some of them were done last year so they were... We could have checked them out, see if they were done correctly, but nah, EA, EA liked to... Uh, Live on the, live on the edge. Yeah, let's just put it that way. Got a right winger here. And this guy can do right wing. So he's, you see, benching him has a second function because it allows the region to come in, allows the right mid to be a right winger if we need, if the opposition need him, and then they've got a brilliant five foot ten striker on the bench, which, to be honest, he wouldn't play over. Paulinho or Singh, but it allows him to be on the bench as well and allows me to bench this guy You see that's just um, Some good squad management there Best FIFA for me was uh, FIFA 07 a close second in FIFA 12 But in FIFA 07 you could create your own club. I don't care how broken it was it was an improvement that is still lacking today. And uh, you could create your own players, you could throw the team in League 2, give them the budget you want, you could cheat your way to the top if you wanted, or you can have a realistic career mode if you wanted. You had the options! You had the fork and the cheese with you. That's what we ask for! That, that is simply what we ask for. 
is for us to be able to create the stuff that we want. A, a, a very disappointing fact is that dynamic player potential isn't on every team, it's just your team. Even when the players are out on loan, they still don't have dynamic potential because the game hasn't tracked stats ever. Hopefully they'll implement that. But uh, it's heading in the right direction. The fixes, the minor fixes. I mean, they were fixed beforehand, but somehow EA broke it. And a warm are, are good, because at least the game's not broke anymore. But it is concerning to me. I want to make sure this gets out there. This, 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 it is a bit concerning to me that players, people that are playing with the beta career mode are saying that it's it's still broke. Right, the game players got way, the the game has got way too many bugs. And um, if they cross over to the main tile, then it's gonna be it's gonna be FIFA 19. Actually, no, FIFA 18 1.3. And uh, that's not good news. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. Solar Tees. Robles. Good start. No. Not the kickoff glitch. That's another thing that this gameplay has. This gameplay mechanics. Every, everything with FIFA 19's gameplay is wrong. Apart from the strength that players are able to put on the others. But even that is still kind of broke. Everything about this game is broke apart from the defending, but the defending's way too OP, so it's broke anyway. There's really not a single positive thing about FIFA 19's gameplay. And that just shows it. Just shows it. Worst FIFA of all time, hands down for me. Probably why I decided to. I didn't like finish the series editor because the motivation to play was just not there. It's saved by Gruber. Despite me having great players and great stories to tell, it was still on the back of my mind that I had to play this game and they definitely got harmed by being in this title more than anything. Or are you players faster? Your players are faster when you don't have the ball and when you're not playing against the computer. Both, uh, both things are definitely proven to be true in this game tile. And the passing gets better. I think it does, kinda. Not that much, but de speed is definitely a factor. Speed and strength. Hands down better when you're playing against another player. What's the best player you've ever had? Best youth player, that is a tough one. I mean, kind of. Uh, best youth player, it's between Nunez and Raiba from last year. But if you mean this year, best youth player, it's got to be Michelle Gallo. This year, hands down, it's Michelle Gallo because from uh, Morecambe. Because he was just insane. He is still insane. Good goal there by Braga. Need to focus on this game. But best player I've ever had. It's between Nunez and Raiba from uh, FIFA 18. Hands down. It's between them two. Of course, um, Gallo's on the running and um, can make that case. And uh, obviously McNeil as well and the Fresner. All of them are there. Great tackle there by Omaru. That's why you put a good centre back at wing back. Because he can defend. Yes, header by Zanolato, split off the line. For me, personally, I think Nunez was better. But Raiva was also special. In the sense that he had so much hype around him. And. Uh, he was quality, he really was. In the moments that we needed him, he delivered. And that's what I really rated about him. I really rate Brandon Rose. I kind of put him in that argument myself. Probably because I could use his 5 star skills. And he was great on the ball. He was just a great player in general. 
There we go, there's the equaliser. Good goal by Aragorn Bravo. Solid counter attack. Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. I think it was Verde with the assist. And yeah, he did do wonders. But for me, what really settles the argument is that Nunez won the World Cup without me playing with Mexico. And Mexico's not like the best side. Of course, they have some good world class talents. But um, Nunez won a World Cup with Mexico without me controlling his team. That's how good he was. I never had to touch him. He reached the 90 overall, 94 overall at 25 without me even touching him in the training. He got 99 reaction, which was just ridiculous. All right, that guy could save Harvey Hall stuff, you know. It was the perfect opposition for Harvey Hall. I, I wish that match He's actually unfolded, away. to be honest. It it'd be the Harvey Hall of outfielders against the Harvey Hall of goalkeepers, you know. Just everything you want in a goalkeeper wasn't that goalkeeper. Of course he couldn't have the five star and five star, but who cares? Like, it's a goalkeeper, right? Who cares about that aspect? He was tall. Had 99 reactions, which is definitely tough to do, and somehow that's a goal. I'm sorry. Oh, it, I think he hit the back of the net. The latter end. I think that's what happened. That was really weird. Yeah, it hit and then it bounced back. It's like almost a FIFA Street goal, that. Seems like he hit the wall with something. Oh, he hit the goalkeeper in the face. That's what kind of... Gave it an odd spin, so there we have it. Two, but it one. did go in. Thankfully, not a ghost goal. It's with Golson. Um, yeah. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Just one of them things. Nunez was the. Everything you wanted in a goalkeeper, basically. And it was sick. It was sick, like... Sick playing with him. Even though I didn't control him. Still sick. Gallo... On the right wing. I think I'm gonna play Fernandez. On... I think I should try Fernandez on the left wing. He's quick. His finishing's not that great compared to his crossing. So why not? Uh, don't mean to drag him. Fofana looks like a better winger as well, but he wasn't like that great, so I'm gonna leave him on the side for this one. And so the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. I did fleet within Keep 18, alright. And given away. No, I meant to slide in there for the challenge, but the CBU players just That's all they can kinda now. dodged that in a way, so I'm glad he didn't slide in. Kovac. Whatever way you slide inside Fernandez. So Come away. on, that is just oh, bullshit. Them See how he gets through! How does he get a corner from that? So now a corner. That is just fucking oh. And he's fired over the corner. Not far away at all with the ball. My goodness. Oh, catch it like that, you've got a really good technique. And oh so close. Every starting player was six foot four and above. Wow, wow, you're really obsessed with height. Like, I I want my centre backs and uh, my strikers to be tall, and my goalkeepers to be six foot or more. That's the ideal. But then for for wing backs, I don't really have one. For um, midfielders, I don't really have one as well. Good ball. Oh my goodness. I think that hit the post. 
For fuck's sake, I just knew that would happen. Wow, so, so close Get the interception right so that you have no like passing this, lanes. The pressure will tell. Let's see what he has in store for them. If I was overpowered in FIFA 18 though, it, I mean, kind of, yeah, it wasn't as overpowered as pace, let's put it that way, and uh, midfielders don't really go for aerial duels, like, and wingers as well, they don't really go for it that much, as well, so you kind of don't need the height on those players. Techie, good ball inside. That should have been a finish. But I think Robles was the one who choked on that opportunity. Sol Ortiz whips it in. Robles can't win the header, not his strength, obviously. He's only 5 foot 7 as a forward, which is not ideal, but his pace makes up for it and he's dribbling and holding up the ball. Oh, come see that pass! Seriously. How does that happen? Like, Promising it just stands, it like, now, screams away from the ball or some shit. That is poor. And what is he doing? Uh, one of them moments where you just put your, fa put your hands on your face and go like, what the fuck was he on there? Of space. Good ball. Need to stop Even this. Need to stop this big time. It was the flex that will do. Yes, Reed. So good ball to Verde, and we can, can go on the counter the here. Break. Good chance. Oh, Bobby's what a ball! Gallas on side. Yes, inside again. That's an easy finish. Oh, Robles makes it amends. Enemies were six foot six and six well, foot so seven, the so they won everything the anyway. Bro, not both from occasion. Poland. So close, but it's in. Um, I think one of them was well, Krzyzowiak's well, region, well. wasn't it? Let me just uh, a guess right there. So there it is, three, one, the you only need line, height yeah. for centre backs, really, and goalkeepers, so that they have the reach. This is a big thing. It definitely helped Nunez even though he had 99 reactions. Like I said, everything he wanted a goalkeeper. Obviously he could have been taller, but his fucking reaction definitely made up for it, because he was unstoppable. My goodness, how has he still got the ball? Another thing that really pisses me off. Tackles, man. J your tackles are supposed to get you the ball back, not to just kind of give you a patty cake on the back and then just leave it for the other guy. What's the point of that? And then the defender just completely ignores the ball at the front post. I mean, if the striker would have scored that would have been proper bullshit, but just forget about that. Good ball by Reed. so... Terrible cross. I meant it to the far post, but that was nowhere near. Come on, seriously. It's like the passes are laser made so they just land on the computer's feet. And I must say it's a fine looking attack, but what can they do from this position? Options are plenty. No, both no, came from the youth club, and, so and they had the same surname. Yeah, there's another problem with career mode. The name pool's still shocking, and they did nothing about that, apparently. So, good luck with the alphabetic spaghetti that's about to happen there. Unless you have the PC. Because if you're getting FIFA and you haven't got... Uh, if you haven't got any preferences, if it's on console or PC, Definitely go PC because you can edit everything within your game mode. Within FIFA 19, you could edit anything. Same with FIFA 20. The stuff out there, just um, use it for the greater good and uh, fix the age broken game because they're not really bothered to do that. Let's face it.
once in a while they add features on top of features and they just shove it up the community's ass so they shut up about it, you know? But like, they're honestly inside they're not bothered. If they were, the, they would have, they would have definitely not released this piece of crap, let me tell you right now. <laughs> Daddy Feng! <laughs> what a name! We've got a transfer offer here for a Bubakar. He is expiring contract. Six million... 6.1 million from AZ Altmar. Gonna see if we can get about eight. I'd be happy with eight, but I can understand if AZ don't want to pay that. It's quite a lot of money, especially for someone who's expiring contract. That's valued at 6.5. I had a bunch of fucked up names. Oh, mate. Don't even start. I've had so much history with them. 8.1 um, No, we're not going down the sell-on clause route I'm gonna lower the price to 8 million so that they come to the table. I'd be happy with 7.5 to be fair I'd be happy with 7.5 I've had Lili before yes Yeah, that that is quite common in China to be honest. That's not but Daddy Feng is just great. Yang Feng is also a, a great. Uh, it just rolls off the tongue nicely. Zhao Feng, same. But Li Li is like perfect. Ch China is not the worst. Let me tell let me tell you right now, China is not the worst. The worst is not having a single Portuguese name apart from Rui Faria in your country. That's bad, alright? When people don't even know the names that are in your fucking country. At least Chinese people have names from their own country. Alright? You can't say the same for the Portuguese. You just can't. Most of the names are fucking Brazilian. Alright. Yeah, because of a real player that plays there. That is in the game, it's in the database. 8 million, 7.5, you know what, just take it. The other lads paid 7.5. That's pretty good. That that is why they're in, but like most of the if you scout Portugal, oh mate, there's no like English people don't get this. English people don't get the most of the names that pop up in the Portuguese scout reports are not Portuguese. Are just not, and that is just sad. That is just sad. They look, oh, they're Spanish or they're, they're fucking Brazilian or whatever. And that is just disrespectful, man. As, honestly, as a proud Portuguese man, I take it quite personally myself. Most of the names are either spelt incorrectly or in a Spanish manner or just Brazilian names. They're not used in Portugal. There are obviously names that are used in both countries because the language is the same, but there are differences. So don't gen generalize us, alright? Please don't do that. Roman next, and it's a 2 1 loss. Not too bad, we're not really focusing on the league, and we were top. Broken metatarsal for Jacobs is the worst part, really. He's out for a few weeks. At least for a month, I think. That is a bad drill right there. Three C's and two Z's.
Yeah, that's... That's pretty much it. Can we just, um... Let me give you an example, right? So, so you know how bad it is, all right? Actually, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have gone to the short list. Let's face it. Let's just uh, search players. The Portuguese, not not the league, the nationality, Portuguese. And since we have a pretty good amount of regions, can go up to twenty four. So Ruben is actually a good name, Ruben Mikhail was actually a former player. You should just speak Portuguese for one episode. Oh mate. That'd be the life. But we don't have Agrella for example. That's not a Portuguese name. These are uh, alright uh, apart from the Agrella. This is accurate, this is accurate. Yeah. Pretty good. Let me give you an example right here. Um, let me see regions. Now the Kevin. It's not a common name here. It really isn't, and it ain't spelled that way. Um, Rafael Camacho, Ricardo Campos, yeah. That's alright. Gervasio kinda is, but it's not common. Like, there are more common names than that. But where do you get the most of them is in the the academy. Uh, Jill Concesau, yes, that's a pr pretty good one. Castera, never heard of it, but we'll give it a pass. But there, there's one. Uh, Dallow's a Belgium name, just because Diogo Dallow is a um, kind of naturalized Portuguese guy. It pops up in the Portuguese database. Uh, Danny is not a Portuguese name. Then, um, what about Ivanildo's more of a Cape Green name than a Portuguese one? But we'll give it a pass because it does happen. It is quite shocking what's what's happened with the Portuguese. Yeah, a lot of Almeida. Yeah, that is a common name. Fernandes as well. Basically means son of Fernando. Basically, the E S in the end. That's what it means. Uh, Resereçao, not common, but we'll give you a pass. Rui Faria is probably the only one, and. Uh, I think this is the guy that used to play for us, so I'm gonna scout him. See how he's doing. But the perfect example um, is uh, Aniceto over there. Not a Portuguese name. Never heard of it. Seriously, never heard of it. See millions of Portuguese names and never heard of it. Hilwer as well. That third name there. But the perfect example is Gonsalvo Jardim. And it's not Gonsalvo. We, well, Danny was a Venezuelan guy. He was just naturalized Portuguese. Or whatever. Like, he wasn't a Portuguese born player. That's what I mean. That it, it's not Portuguese name, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And he had two wins, not just the one. It is Gonzalo. There's no V in there. Take the V and the name's fine. But the V's there, it completely fucks up the name. That's how lazy they are. Oh. We'll just sneeze on the keyboard for once and leave it for fucking ages. Roderick, that's an English name. That is an English name. Seriously, what what more do I need to say? 
Janko! I mean... <laughs> oh my goodness! Like, there's, there's no Jankos here! I always get Jardim. Yeah, and that means garden, by the way. That means garden. Podstalski is not a Portuguese name. Yes, there is a player, but he is from Poland. He was just, again, one of them players that was not born in Portugal, but played for Portugal. That makes any sense. Fabio Madeira makes no sense. Yet again, because it's, it's Fabio. Not Fabio. Like, the Manchester United player. The former Manchester United player, Fabio. That's how you spell it. There's no A. That's alright, alright. Seeing that. This is one of the most common ones. And this could probably be Moutinho from Wolves. Because he is Joao Moutinho. I'm not, I don't think he is Carlos though. I can tell you Jardim is Garden. Again, Roderick, English name. Hildeberto, not a common name. Haven't really heard of it, but kind of give it a pass. It is more common if you had Alberto. That is really common. Again, Danny and Cortez with the Z. That's wrong. So many Cortez with the Z. Pisses me off to no end. Danny as well with just the one N. It is not a Portuguese name. It is a short for Daniel. It really is. It's short for Daniel but in English, not in Portuguese. There is uh, Laje. Good Good to see that name now that Benfica has Bruno Laje at the helm. That's interesting to see. Uh, Ralvas de Oliveira, yeah that's alright. Then uh, again Danny there. Sturgeon is... Uh, I can understand it is a player that wasn't from here. Jardin, that, that, that's it. They just give it more emphasis on the R's. You just gotta say it differently, basically. Um, sturgeon is a fish. Yes, I know, but uh, like, uh, uh, the, there's a player here that that's called Fabio Sturgeon, and he plays for Belenenses. So that's where the name comes from. Um, Tim Dozio, yeah, it's an all right, but only Naya Butter, man. Iris is just taken from the Argentine capital because that is not a name. Only Naya, never heard of it, like, never even dreamed about it. Same with Buta, completely fucked up name here, and I love it. I mean, what more do I need to say? Just end me. And you haven't seen like the really worst, the really bad ones where it's Jemison, whatever. Those are Brazilian names. Le, play away to Norcoping. Le, do that. Make sure we play the players that don't really play in the simon but it's still kind of important in the side Jacobs is out with the broken metatarsal so we might play someone else in the middle uh, Larson is playing interesting he is a good region we did look at him in the other game Lindbergh there he Oh, that was a 60 overall. Alright. That makes sense. This guy can go in the middle for a Candelo. This guy's a set of... What are you... Right. Hmm. Some, uh... Suspicious stuff going on in here. 
Can Scrub play in the middle? I uh, can't really. This guy can play winger. This guy shorter. Makes sense again. 5'11, 5'10. Right. Center back's good, center mid's good. Goalkeeper, definitely Pedersen. A good region here on the bench. Two good regions, in fact. Got a CDM there. And good winger. Probably will take him. For Candelo, even. He can play right wing, so we'll take him for a Candelo. We'll put Bjornquist as a centre mid. We'll uh, bring on Bacini and we'll bring on, obviously, where is he? Oh, he's not here, that's why. That's why I haven't been able to play with Gabbridge, he's out on loan. Benassi. I want to give a shot to Carito and uh, Bubakar. See what they're like. This is the perfect game to do so. LD gets on. Sikora don't think so. Marino deserves a shot. Colin Williams also deserves a shot. And Bruno is in as well. Uh, Wingers. Vlasic is the backup. We'll bring on Aslan. And... I think Fazic and Fernandez should lead the line with Rito on the bench. Actually, no, I think we should put Rito in the starting lineup. Rito and Ujevic. Why not? For all times. Uh, Fernandez could kind of be the winger. Not sure about that one. Lundgren kind of needed in the Simmons, so we'll leave him. Sikora, he can get in. Or actually, no, we'll leave him on the side. We'll uh, take Esposito away. And I think that's good. I think that is pretty good. Alright. Let's play Nora Coping. Yeah, I always get Aslan when I scout Turkey. True, true, again. Probably a common name, probably a typo. Probably just a, a random name. We'll have to ask the Turkish for that. Yeah, players' names are really long, both in Portuguese and Brazilian. Like the the names are really long. It's not like most of the English names. I'd say there are a few Snow simple ones, of course, but most of them have four or five names average. Group stage action to look so, forward to this yeah. evening. I certainly Basically, can't wait, yeah. honestly. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excite me. Come on, let's see some entertainment. And this is how the host tackles that don't get the ball today. already. There we go. Bruno, come on. Run, fam. Yes. Oh, goodness, the through ball. I forgot how the balls were bad in this game. Will they get exposed in the wide areas? This is how the visitors will set up today. As to how great the FIFA 18 passing was, this was a complete shock. Because you can't pass. Good ball there by uh, Nora Coping. They've scored already. I think it's the region, Carlson. That have scored. Kind of shows. Real players are not overpowered. Good cross. To nobody. Can't switch to the wing back quick enough, so I can't close it down. I love it when they do that to me. 
Good tackle by Abubakar. You've got to say, but it's gone out. Branson, good ball touch. over the. I can, but Chini gets a good touch to it. Just wasn't there. Oh my God! Why have you done that? And. Uh, Aslan apparently means lion in Turkish, yeah. Why have you done that? Seriously, what is Williams trying to do there? Is he trying to take his the head out? Is that it? Oh, they've hit the post anyway. Get in. I think it was a kick to the face that he was trying to do, but he accidentally connected with his fist. No space to pass it to, love it. Just, nobody gets free for me. So easy to mark, and there you go, that's the second. I kind of wish uh, Colin Williams injured the guy at least, but game's like now. Through ball, that's Pez by the way that's been installed. That's the demo, finally got a run to download it. And uh, speaking of that, I am going to be away in a few days. For the next few days we'll definitely get streams, but after that, not sure how it's going to work well, out. If we're just going to sim or we'll, we'll have to do something about the series. Maybe finish the series before I go. Definitely tomorrow and the day after that we'll have streams. After that... No, don't think so. Might have to stream and play the Champions League final and show you. Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see again. Very rushed. It is too serious. I knew it would be a challenge. And um, fortunately, he kind of caught up to me. And it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. from long range he didn't miss by much Lee. no I thought the ball would be coming into the box but long range free kick is had a go oh all right all right then uh congrats the then finally on getting it we have it sure the referee has given a corner Colin Williams, the man who tried to kick the shit out of the other guy. And of course he just runs offside on the line like an absolute fucking mongry. Bujevic, he gets fouled, that's a free kick and a book in, surely. Yeah. And that's the goal scorer Larson who picks it up. Interesting. All right, free kick. Do we have anyone that's decent on the pitch? We do have Ujevic. I think it's going to have to be him. 21 yards out. Let's try it. Oh, finish! The max power free kick trait has definitely held him out there. Solid finish. Keeper should probably have done better, but it was powerful. It hasn't come yet. What? Oh my goodness. I thought the delivery system was bad here in Portugal. By waiting a month or a month and a half for a new phone. Goodness, that is bad. I feel, I genuinely feel for you. And I know what you're going through. Jesus. That is a long ass time. Yes, ball. Weovic. Oh, come on, that's totally not the ball that I'm going for there. We've been waiting to find out. Oh, now we know couldn't put the foot in. Ah, oh, run. Run of Ubercar. Catch him. Defensive yes, get the ball back. Or just kill him. He did nothing. Ubercar finally gets the ball back. It's and too late. Wi Fi in Australia is shit. 
It's the 47th best internet in the world, as DK put it. Ours isn't much better. Fernandez goes on the wing. I might bring Santoso Jasper on to finish this off. All right. In they go, second half on the way already. Vujovic got nowhere to run and loses possession. Good. Isn't this familiar? He's using his strength to good effect. And he might be in here. Mawson. Yes, Abubakar. Lovely work. Fernandez. Come on, Fernandez. Run, mate. Yes. So much pace. Santoso Jasper's in behind. Finish. Rito. Come on. Seriously. Someone just put it in. Santoso Jasper. Through ball. Doesn't get the Rito. Sake. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Over Carlson. Come on, I put the challenge in there. Surely not. Fernandez. Oh yes, Fernandez. Lovely work. I knew the slide challenge was coming. Seriously. Oh, these guys are gonna hold out like this. I'm gonna be real pissed because they've done nothing to deserve the two goals. So, uh, frankly, they didn't deserve a goal, but it's FIFA 19 we're talking about, and you don't need to deserve anything to get a game. So there's, there's logic out of the window. That is a foul. Why the live stream instead of post vids? So I like to show what's going on behind the scenes when I can. I kind of like to show it live. Of course. Like. I do understand that people don't really want to watch it. I don't force them to sit down. How does the ball fall down to him at there? Get it out. And I do play some games so there's... You can just watch the game. There's another penalty given because the genius put the foot wrong. I give over. Seriously. Oh, tackles that don't get your ball is just... Oh, man. And then he goes to the left and doesn't save it. Oh, seriously. That is a kick in the teeth. That is quite the kick in the teeth. We're going to have to take it on the chin. Maybe use a bit of uh, their venom against them. Bruce Fernandez, that's a goal, but he's offside. Ah, didn't, that name though, yes. Route 66. Actually, he's had a quite disappointing game. Hasn't done his job at all. I've had to go to the squad screen to know if he was there. True story. See, I did not see him elsewhere. Be really surprised if he let that one in. Is he Saudi Arabian? I think he's from Egypt. Yeah, he's from Egypt. Uh, but Nasi, of course, takes that extra little steps and just reacts advance. late to the ball coming short. Love it. Santoso, Jasper. Send it through, man! Fuck's sake! What's the fucking point of me pressing buttons when the people don't fucking understand that it's to do that? Don't fucking react to me pushing buttons. What's the point? Seriously, what's the point? 
And that is how to tackle inside your own penalty area. We have it all for fuck's sake. It's everything blocked with these cunts. Seriously, we should have battered them to a new, the to a new word, one. Will be a of two like Man United did yesterday on Chelsea. Well, but yeah, we're losing 3-1 and, and make, they're making it a, a look like utter tools. And a Portuguese player called Caio Bongin. And tell me how does that sound? Does it sound Portuguese at all? I'm actually going to type it in for you. Alright. Tell me if this name sounds Portuguese. Actually, it's with the space in the middle. There you go. Tell me if that name looks Portuguese. Absolute waste. I should have just sinned the game. I probably would have won if I sinned the game. Even with the reserve side. Disgusting performance. Absolute stinker by everyone. AC Milan second. We are away. Are you sure that... I am sure. I am sure. Because I had him. He was my best player. It was back in FIFA 15. Tell me if that looks Portuguese. Go ahead. I'll wait. What team? Portsmouth. I actually did a Portsmouth experiment. And got him. I can't take you the screenshots though because I've lost the PS3. Don't have one anymore. Now that's not Portuguese one bit. Told you. And then we had a guy called this. I can't put the actual O, but it's the Danish O with the cross in the middle. Looks Danish, right? It does look like Danish and Norwegian or Scandinavian. Let's put it that way. And it's just that that has been the Portuguese pull name. We've had I've seen it on several channels by the way, this one. Bingo. Sounds more English than Portuguese. One all away draw, no suspensions or injuries. That's good. Two Fs, literally the game telling me to F off, basically. I mean, you could have just told me beforehand. Bingwall, yes. Sounds more English than Portuguese. Training injury, Vlasic out for two months. I fucking give up with this game. And you know what? I'm gonna go back. Cause I'm sick of fucking long term injuries. Happening on... Your bloody players. You know? It's just in the game. Right, fuck the game. Against AC Milan. We're not going for a title now. One old draw, that's the same outcome. No injuries, lovely. Wojewicz up to a 78, that is good. Fuck Lee. 
goodness. Peggy 3, ladies and gentlemen. Another fucking training injury, seriously. Thank God. Peggy 3. Right. Um. Juventus at home would be a good test to see if this team's ready. On the Simmon. I'm going to save it right here. Goodness. I mean, bang wang. Peggy 3, ladies and gentlemen. Bang wang. Just remember that. One old draw against Juventus. Not bad. Not bad if you ask me. Of course they don't have Ronaldo. They don't have Chiellini or... Uh, uh, Boz uh, Bonucci or Bozzagli. Don't have Buffon. But still a great win. Quadrado's agent. The ball is still there. So... Pretty good win. Cancelo is still there as well in this save. Hasn't moved over to Manchester City. That was a good swap deal by the way by City. Rui Faria is 64 overall. Wow. Um, Nor coping, I'm not playing again. They were fucking dreadful to play. Two one nil win. That's what it should have been. Player returns from injury. Samuel Teki has returned to first team duties. Returned to first team training. Actually, my bad. For duties, though, I think he's gonna have to wait after Lazio. Two one win against Lazio, and of course we do have a bit of fixture congestion going on there with the La Spezia game. Player returns from injury. That is the scout future star. Daniel Jacobs is back. The good news are coming in thick and fast, and of course they'll have a couple of weeks to heal out the injury, which is great. Leacock is another my friend found. All right. Peggy 3 ladies and gentlemen, once again, Peggy 3, just uh, we'll put that out there. Oh, the United States want us, and you know what, if we had more players than Colin Williams in this save, if we had the Lucas Rogersons of this world, if we had the Tyler Clarks, I'd probably consider it, but it's only you mate. It's only you that we have. And when we've only got one player, he's gotta be the star man and you just ain't. You just ain't. You're not even first team. So I can't take it. There's literally nobody else. Group has gone up to an eighty six, I've seen that. I'm sorry, United States. Not taking it. Sorry to all my American fans as well, who are revolting. Right now, and pulling their hair out. I do apologize. Just make sure we land on the 24th. And uh, we'll get through all the games there. So, boom. That's everything done in the training. Can skip for the day. For the upcoming match, Gallo wants to play. Hopefully, the assistant manager will do so. Save the back up again. I need to be a bit more active on your server. You do. You kind of do. But I do appreciate you being there. Let's bet here. 
Odds BK can go through both of them. No worries. Thank God it's La Spezia and Odds BK that are just straight next to each other. 3 1 win, 2 1 loss to La Spezia. Unrealistic, but what can you do? Can't really complain, can I? Yeah, they have chosen the the soundtrack by the way, if talking about the Discord. First of December. No injuries, thank God. Fernandez only had that two day leg dead leg calf. It's my night to cook dinner. See ya. Enjoy talking. Enjoy talking to you too, sir. Home against Torino. Should win them. We should. 2-1 win. Then uh, Cagliari in the league. Do we have anything to play for in this final game of the Europa League? That's a 2-1 win against Cagliari, that's a solid win. We've already gone through and in first, so there's nothing to play for. Alright. So we'll skip over to the Braga game. And we'll just make sure we play the weaker side. Because there's no point in playing the strongest side. Um crap. Okay, um, Flazic comes on, Abubakar definitely on. Um, Eldiv, yeah, as for wing back choice, Arvidsson. Winger, Aslan. Bruno on the other one as well. We'll uh, go Sikara. It's a good choice. Fernandez maybe? Who else is in here? Weavich and Fazic. Fazic on the bench because he's tired. Kovac in at, on the bench. You in as well. Rito on. Santoso Jasper on for Boschko. I think that's a pretty important one. Uh, Carito instead of uh, Kovac, and I think that's it. Right, save. Away against SC Braga. We do have Lopez on the bench. We do have Esposito on the bench. Hopefully he doesn't come on. Don't think so. And we win 2-1. And of course Esposito comes on. Ah, because Lopez had to get injured, didn't he? 
Oh, he's he's got a broken toe as well. That is awful. That is just awful. You were the worst out of the three. The one that really needs the time on the pitch is the one that really gets injured. Ah, that's terrible. Still beat Braga two 0 so must be doing something right. Sampdoria next. Do you dare play the worst team out? There you go. 4-0 win against Sampdoria. That's more like it. Benassi's happy. Gone through to the knockout stages. Forgot to stop for the training. No messages on the archive. That's good. Oh, the previous session. So Gallo has hit an 80 overall, we'll just let his shot power go up. Or maybe not, we'll, we'll just uh, switch him in the next training session. Sorry for blocking outside. Go against Bologna. That is the final game before the winter break. That is a one all draw. Kinda let me down there, boys. Come on. Well, um, go in, take Gallo off, and put. Uh... No, actually, let's uh, give him the shot power. Yeah, that's a day. Good time to have a bad rating. You couldn't have, like, not gone up, so. At least he definitely deserved to go out of the training. After that grade. Just stop it on the 29th, so we can save the changes. So, this guy is going off for Bruno, who's been waiting for his shot at training. And Reach is looking better now. Definitely better. Ujevic kind of needs it. Gonna leave him there. We are. Rito could go up and finish it if he didn't have such a bad rating. Uruguay FA won him in. Again, no big uh, players from Colombia, so we're gonna gonna leave it. So we're going to save the changes, save them in the first one. Abubakar has left the club for Cardiff City. Uh, that's a few millions in. That will help out. First thing to do is to sign one of the players in the shortlist. And that is a certain 79 overall player. If he's gone up to an 80, that's even better. He has. It's Lino Cortez. His expiring contract, probably the biggest. Out of the lot. Johannes Ring has gone on loan to Malaga, so we can't sign him. Probably gonna strike on Mevlia here with the remaining money. But first, gonna make sure to sign Joel Cortez. Delegate the offer. Think he won't need much pursuing. Alves de Araujo probably don't have enough money for him yet and it's a good time to strike with Mevlia like got 31 million we'll wait on the contract to get through Genoa next at home 
Cortez approached by another team. I did save it before the thing started, so if anything goes wrong with Huddersfield, then we're just gonna reload. Player injured. Who is it? Sick result with a broken collarbone. Still won, didn't we? So, yeah. Not too bad, actually. I'll just skip forward, see if uh, Cortez. No, he's not willing to accept, so we're going to have to reload. At least Sikra won't get the broken collarbone. So, that's pretty good. Just uh, skip over to the first. And we're going to have to sign Cortez with me having to go through those negotiation cutscenes. Help me. Bubakar has left the club, that's a bit of income of course. Again, need to go after the same man. This time we're going to approach him to make sure he doesn't get approached by another team. Come on, shortlist, just load up for once. Transfer hub. Why do you take so long? Actually, it gives me a chance to catch up. Put the stream where it actually is because it's just somewhere in the middle of the Nora coping game. Why does it take ages? Come on. Thank you. So he's gone up to an 80 overall here. You can see this is a very good player. And uh, he's going to give Morales a bit of competition. Pretty good signing this, especially on a free. So... Joel Cortez, squad rotation, pretty good, five years, no release clause, that's okay with me, and um, give him 90, give him 90k, alright, it's pretty good, he's earning 85 at Arsenal, that's pretty fair, to be honest, by him. Took a pay rise even, and was like, "Yeah, don't and what? Don't want any bonuses." That's what we were trying to avoid. Um, where is Mevlier? He was up, wasn't he? So we've got got twenty four million to pay for the. Release clause, that's a pretty good deal. And uh, delegate to the assistant manager. It didn't work out well the other time. So, how much is Mevlia earning at Bayern Munich? 72k. We should start with that. That's what I'm going to do. Start with 75k. Start where he is to give him what he is earning. Loan offer for Fernandez, not interested in it. Seriously, they should just stop. Oh, oh no, I've accepted it. Oh no, I hate it. Oh, I hate the fucking lag. I've accepted the offer. You know what? That's probably not a bad thing because Weavich and Reedsell are not low rated anymore. And that will give him more chances in the simming. So that's probably not too bad. But still, 
Still hate it, man. 76k, four years. He wants an important first team player. Does he want any release clause though? He doesn't. No signing bonus. That is fantastic. No bonuses. All right. I'm in. So that's a pretty good signing. Signed the top player apparently. And uh, we've got 7 million to play with and got a wager budget that's pretty sound. Shall we have a look at the players that are expiring contract? So we've got 23 year olds. Oh, the got a nose who's recent, so he's definitely not any contract. Alvarado is expiring contract. That's interesting. You see, with Lopez injured, I might put in a bid. Casson could be coming back. Which is interesting. Why did it go back? Seriously? Gotta do that again? Alvarado is an interesting one, as I said. Pretty interesting one, because I think he's just been regenerated. What is he earning? 35k with an AZ. Oh wow, oh wow, 71 to 100, that's pretty accurate, I'm going to leave it like that, hopefully he accepts, Rodriguez Lima, no, Garcia, he's just moved, Skeeters, not really interested but just out of curiosity, I know Jovic is alright, oh he's on loan, can't really approach him if he's on loan. That is a shame we're gonna miss out on him. Uh Yukich no Khalifi? No, missing out that is a shame. Mora is an interesting one, but we did did just sign a midfielder, so I'm gonna let that run through. Kayards the player that I'd be kinda interested in. Silver Angel, not expiring contract, wouldn't have come back if he was. Torre, I know he's a good player, but with the one star weak foot, not gonna sign him. Played against us and scored against us. Montes Ars, still going. So we're gonna wait on Alvarado. And um, we might come back to Luke Torre. We're gonna scout Luke Torre. I think that is a good thing to do at the moment. If he's profitable, then we'll definitely sign him. Luke Torre down there. Scout him. 12 days remaining to get his full scout report. It's a pretty good thing to do. Wait on Alvarado. And I think we're at the Genoa game. So that will be the 17th. That's after the Verona game. In the cup, and that's just before the Udinese game. Oof. Zanlato's out for three days with a bruised leg. That's probably the same injury that I have at the moment. Do not know, I did fell down a bike. Don't worry, nothing really serious, just burned out a bit of skin. And uh, it just looks, just looks bad, you know. It isn't really that painful. But it is an injury and it's got to be taken care of. Alvarado wants a crucial first team player. Five years, you see, that's what you want to see. 75k. That is a pretty big uh, raise. That is more than double the wage that he earns at Udinese. He's in as well. That's another steal. We'll wait on Torres' contract. We'll wait on Torres' scout report, actually. 
got two Napoli games back to back in the league. Actually, we've got Udinese in the middle. My bad. See if we can beat Napoli here. It's a 2 1 win. That's pretty good. Do have medley of extra squad depth because we shipped out a few centre mids. Weavich is up to a 79. Bruno's working on his attack positioning in shot power. That's going to boost his rating so much. He's already close to 77 with one or two training drills. It is ridiculous. Jonathan Silverangel going to Stuttgart. Good luck over there. Let's have a look at the... Arhel is Verona in the... In the top flight. Hellas Verona are down in relegations, so relegation zone. Do we play them? I do want to go far in the cup, but do we play them? That is the question. I don't think we should, honestly. I think this side is good enough. And we're going to put a few better players, of course. In and a few fitter players. Uh, Bruno is going to stay on the wing. Sol Ortiz is not fit, so Lundgren is on. Morales. Nah. Going to bring on Carrizo. Ismail and Vlasic, they look good. Fezic. Gallows and 80. That's nice. We'll, uh, bring on Rizzo, bring on Mevlia. For the bench for Sikara and um, Senemids, anyone? Yeah, we'll leave Aldi there. All right. I think we can win this since we are at home. Verona Go ahead and send this See the look of the draw that we get And it's 2-1 win Like I said not worth playing the game I guess Udinese next Straightforward game this. Pretty straightforward I think. We just uh, signed Alvarado. So it's going to be interesting how he performs basically against his future club. So we'll see. Final scout report on Luke Torre. He's a 78 overall player. Definitely profitable. But as a quality player, hmm, not really. The question is, does he go on the cheap to get an out to sell in the summer? Can't approach him. Has to be. Let's try and delegate to see. Yeah. Has to return to his parent club. And when he returns, he will automatically renew the contract. So, that is um, quite the millions that we're missing out on there. Uh, Udinese. 2 0 loss. Wow, lads, come on. You like to make this thing interesting, don't you? Weavich's finishing goes up. Reed so short pass and attack positioning go up as well. Looking pretty nice, both of them guys. 
which is closing in on the 80 overall club that'd be pretty good for him and then when Gabrich comes back we can train him on the adding accuracy the dribbling and the tackling stats that he deserves especially the marking and the stand tackle a bad for his standards and the interceptions I think I think he's not that great in the interception stat Napoli next I think we should send this or with the first team in it goes Napoli again that's a 1-0 victory there we go get in Oh, we're not on track messages. Here we go. That's the profit on the youth player sales. Not gonna do that, to be honest. If uh, you can't take the money for a booba car or for way, then uh, I don't know what you're expecting. Basically, right, seriously, what are you expecting? Next up, Roma in the cup. We should play this game. It is a way. Dangerous, dangerous opponent. And this is a big one. Go through their team. Brooks on. Same with uh, Dyer. I think we're going to play Dyer for this one. Fernando with Ashley. There's a midfield parent here. Fred and Cyprian. I'm gonna put Cyprian back. Vendel and Fred. Uh Ben Davis and right back. Does it work? Not sure. Gonna leave Grimaldo. Gonna play Ben Davis at right back, see how it works. Sessignon, he could do. There's no real good wingers. Schick is up front. Sabitzer for um, Fred is a good option. Sadiq is off. Don't need another striker when we've got one already. Figal is off for Mandy. Uh, the Kira Aldersani. Is it the Aldersani that we had? It's not the Kira. It's I just said the FIFA of not uh, 18 guy it's not him Benes is in I'm gonna put Munya in now and see if I can find a better winger do have El Sharawi so we'll put El Sharawi on wing backs anyone that's good enough Pellegrini instead of Shaw and Fernando Fernando just misses out. Just. Lopez in between the sticks. That's going to be a problem. Techie's back from his injury. Boschka's died. Shame. I would have loved to play with him. Um, Fofana. Kind of tired. Going to play Gallo there on the left. Jacob's on. Alder Leal. He could do. Right back. He could. Um, Silk and Vlasic, but I do want to play with Aldair. And um, I'm going to pull a Garcia Leger instead of Gallo. Garcia Leger is more consistent, more durable, basically. Gallo does have a better impact off the bench. Rizzo and Mevlia. Yeah, both on the bench. Vujovic also won Fazic. And I think Figueroa needs to go off for Bruno. Or if. Nah, Colin Williams had a shocker in the Europa League. I think it is time for Aslan to get his chance. Gallo can play on the right if we need to. And we're gonna play Kruger instead of Esposito. 
Give him more gains. All right. Oh, there's Solar T's there, so Rita's gonna have to start. Face it on the bench. All right, let's do this. I think now we're sorted. Yeah. Let's go. Shame the chat's kinda dead now that Sam Quint. With the Copa Nazionale reaching this quarter final stage, no suggestion from either. We're at the Stadio Olimpico. It is snowing. In. It's full on, full strength. It is, it is. They've both got big games coming up in the domestic league, but uh, I'm expecting a, a cracking competition here. Our match for you today is Roma playing against Parma. Well, when they get on the ball, it is a passing game, but individual ability on the ball is emphasised by a player on each team here. Two wonderful dribblers of the ball who love to attack players and leave defenders on their backsides quite often with their mesmeric ball control. Big, big game this against AS Roma. Should be AS Rome, but AS Roma sounds better, I guess. Roma's line up for you. We've got it down as a 4 3 3. Yeah, it's a system that the Netherlands used to use. Good tackle. Good cover. Oh, the corner flags move, and it's kept it in as well. They could score from it. For clearance. And for the away side, this is how they line up for this. Garcia Legea, take us off. Teki. Yes, good reverse ball. Jacobs down the line. Garcia Legea going for a pot shot. That is sailing over the crossbar still. That went sailing over. Nowhere near the target. Really Seng is under. Here. Yes, Garcia Legea gets the ball back. Miracle. Only took one challenge to do that. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Oh, shot is in. Nowhere near again. Roma have their pot shot. No chance I can fucking pass it to anyone. Effort, oh, Groover. Really Good point of field. The There's nobody there. There's too many people back, and they still well, can't really, like get away from the pressure of AS Roma. So we lose the ball early. But now back up field, there's nobody up there. The the They're literally not even contesting it. So how are we going to win the ball? Is it going to be an in swinger or an out swinger? You can deliver these with both feet. Curled in. Oh, Heather in. You know where that free kick was going. You just knew. Right. You just know where it is. Nicking off the inside of the post on its way in. Vendel is one of the shortest players they have, yet they still win the header against six foot seven Vanassi. Right. Tell me that's not fucking scripting. Good back heel. Delivered into the box. Yes, oh, there we go. Kickoff glitch. Scripting right back in the CPU's face. Here we go, and Bravo gets the equaliser. Straight after that bullshit goal. Get in. He's got support here. Yes, Analato. Here we go, Groover. Come on. Good ball. Yeah. Oh, Rita's well offside. Still buried it, but oh, sexy finish. Sitting the lane, football that. Techie through Jacobs. 
needs Rito to make a run yes Rito again shot is on and he gets cleared after it being blocked everything blocked with these cunts again just yeah that's the thing Vlasic whacks that out of there pretty good work Schick you cross in and Gruber gets it away alright do this Garcia Ligeia the through ball Jacobs good ball across that's a finish I mean oh my god Techie's offside oh I completely forgot that completely forgot that Techie was offside because it was the shot that was playing him off I thought it was the pass still and he was online you know for a second don't know why that would have been a great goal but the pass across threw everyone off apart from the Palmer players they knew where that ball was going Techie through ball to Garcia Ligeia Kovac through there we go Rita's onside this time but he can't pull the trigger that is quite the difference Kovac through that's not through but it, it will be a corner corner kick Irigoy and Bravo is going to swing it into the corridor of uncertainty Yes, Kovac, who crossed Jacobs at the four post. Oh, come on. And it didn't change for me quickly enough for me to get the rebound. Bloody hate it. Right. Jacobs, off for Mevlier, you go. Aslan off. Aslan on for Irigoy and Bravo. He does score the goal. And Arvidsson is on for Aldair Leal the second half that is the subs done three players I want to play with it's that I haven't played with today the in the one is a new signing so that's pretty good, good first half of the retail we go uh, yeah, I think kind of works out in favor of us that Mevlia went to them so we bought him quite on the cheap now, the release clause this guy's offside that's pretty well played by me to rule him offside. I knew he was going to play the pass. The others were off already. That was the only outlet and I just played him off. That's a great ball. Mevlia's onside. Come on Mevlia, that's a finish. 2-1, what a ball. I think that is Bacini. Pretty good vision that to find Mevli in space. The defense was nowhere which helped. That's a pretty good ball still. Now he's looking for support. Yes, Aslan. Oh, come on. See, how have you given the ball away there? Mevlia, yes. Through ball. Here is Techie. Making that run. Yes, crossing at the front post. That's cleared out. Verde. Through ball. That works. Garcia Ligeia going for the cross. It's going to be a corner kick. Nobody went short, unfortunately. Crosses in, Lopez gets the punch out. Oh my goodness, that's not the pass. So, kill the ball dead right there. In its tracks. Yes, San Alato. Good ball, Garcia Ligeia. The passing machine is not broken anymore. That is a foul. It will be whipped in to the 
Actually, no, I might take this. Tiki's on the pitch, isn't he? Yeah. Might take this. 34 yards out. It is Samuel Teki going for an absolute worldly of a strike. I'm going more sideways to get more spin on it. Oh dear me, that was the driven shot by the way. It was blocked. That's what it was. Should have put more power on it then. Let me see how it went. It was so quick I couldn't even see. It hit the guy in the face. So that was clearly going on target. Probably would have wrong for the keeper even with the swerve that he had. Oh, bad pass. Just one of them things, ain't it? So you just know it's wrong, but you do it anyway. Because you can't be asked. Roma have a substitute ready. Time ticking on. Oh, come on. Seriously, that tackle is utter garbage. Davis. What's the point of going there and giving the ball a patty cake? Why? Again with the patty cakes. Saw yourselves, out, man. Davis. He can cross it now. Going forward well. Put in from the wide area. Put away, but not he's hit the guy in the way. face and he still hasn't got the ball. Come on, Aslan. Thankfully, we've got the ball there. Oh, and no, nah, just forget it. The passing has just got it away to them again. If the tackling is not bad enough. Yes, Gruber. Through ball, that's a ball to Ruben Garcia Legea. He's onside. Good ball roll. Doesn't fool anyone, but it manages to put the assist, but Aslan misses. That was a golden chance. A pretty well placed on a golden plate, on a silver platter. And uh, that is a foul. What happened there? Is it a booking? What happened there? Oh, it was just well, tackle, right? Completely missed time tackle. Where's the yellow card for Zanlato? Don't know why they brought it back, but I'm not going to complain. Rubber throws it out. Throw. That's a good ball. Phase it. Good place to win the ball here. Come on, pretty so piss poor bounces, man. That'll do though. Two one win for Parma. Definitely deserved it. Mario Vlasic the man of the match. Interesting choice there. No, he did that assist. That was a crazy good assist, so fair play to it. Rodriguez Lima, yep, yeah, he is wanted. Who else do we want to move on in this window? I think LD just about stays. Same with Ismail. They're both very meh. Let's put it that way. I think we'll move on. No, actually, I don't have anyone to move on. Right now.
Top deals, Berger going to AC Milan from Sevilla. It's a pretty good signing for them. Fekir going to PSG from Chelsea. And there's a name I cannot pronounce going to Monaco. 44 million. Pretty good stuff. Right. End of the transfer window. Don't think we're going to sell any more players, so we're just going to go ahead and skip transfer deadline day. Can do all together and skip the Genoa game. That's a 2 1 win. Alright. Out it goes. Bruno's gone up, even with a D. He needed a, a B to go up on both short par and short pass. Maybe even a C would do. And he would have gone up by a lot more. Dolbello approached by Leverkusen. Everyone's approaching other players after the transfer window's over. Idiots. Bologna. 1-0 victory. Next up, Sampdoria. 2-1 win as well. That's pretty good. Next up, PSV. Player suspended. Morales is suspended for the league game. So I think we're going to use him right now. PSV against Potama. Rito's gone up to the 80 overall club. He has been promoted finally. It's took so long. Now it's time to garage the comeback and uh, we'll sort out that contract of his. Let me do the test right now. I think it's a good time to do the test before we get serious with the Europa League. Save it on the normal save. We'll do the test, see if we can get him back for this European conquest. You've been an absolute legend, mate. Can we negotiate the deal? Yes, we can. I'm going to make sure he doesn't have one. And uh, we're going to make sure he goes up in valuation. Alright. A bit like a boost. I wouldn't mind if he missed the round 32 first leg. That's why I'm doing it. Because I think we might sim the game if he's not available. Domestic competition, so Morales needs to. We need to renew his contract. So, what's his valuation? He's gone up. He's at 4.7 million. gone down by 11. The other one was quite a pretty big boost wasn't it? I should have saved it. Should have saved it. Damn. 17%. Jesus that was a lot. Four point seven, five point five million gets in, son. Does he go up in overall? He doesn't, so that's perfect. Because he goes up by a lot. That is a lot of potential going up. So we can just save it on the backup. He'd put the laptop to charge. There we go. Away versus PSG. First leg. Can we pick? 
Gabbridge to play. Yes, we can. So we are going to play the first leg. And we are going to sim the second if we do get a comfortable win. Because it's at home. Got pretty much the strongest side out, apart from the striker. Let's face it, not the best. This guy can play striker. This guy can play on the left wing. And this guy can play on the right wing. We've got a, an 80 overall player on the bench that can fit right in. And uh, we don't have to, like, do it with, with him. Belkers. Uh, Anyar can do as a cam, basically. Larson, he can do as a winger. That is perfect. That is probably the best that their squad is going to get. Uh, 75 overall centre back just misses out. And a 75 overall right back as well just misses out on the bench. No real good midfielders apart from Gutierrez who's suspended for this game. So big miss. Big miss for this game already. Um, as far as our team though, it's going to have to be Irigo and Bravo again. <laughs> Cannot seem to find Bosco fit for once. Would be nice but one of them things isn't it, you just can't control it. Um, play Verde. No, actually, it's a good time to test Alde Leal in his favourite position. Uh, can take out Arvidsson, bring in uh, Gabridge, he's available. Take you, Fazic for Rito, Teki for Vigorito. We'll uh, bring Teki and Rito to play. Robles can do wing with that acceleration DMA. That is just uh, filth. It really is. Uh, Verde. Verde deserves to be on this bench. Where is he? For Mevlia. Let's put it. Let's put him in. And Gruber deserves to be instead of you. Bacini? Probably play Bacini and Gabrich. I know they can handle themselves. They are a great centre back partnership after all. And uh, Benassi is an 80 overall, so I might bring him on later to celebrate that. All right, I think we're good to play against PSV. Let's do this. Time for the game against PSV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary. Is Lee Dixon. We're moving towards the business end of the UEFA Europa League. We're now in the round of 32. This really should be a belter of a game, Lee. Thank you, Derek. Junior. Welcome, everybody. The group stages are over. Ramsalar. My favourite. The dynamics are very, very different. 
Jacobs does well. Techie with the touch. The through ball. Rito, good touch. And Irigoy and Bravo available. Let's go round the keeper. Probably not the smartest idea there. What a through ball! Rito could have scored that. Rito could have easily scored that. I know he was on the turn, it was difficult. But he should have put that on target at least. I know he went for power rather than precision. Come on. Everything gets blocked with these. Jesus Christ, I can't do anything. Garage is going to get caught out. Good save by Gruber. And that guy is offside. Alright, let's go. Pacini to Morales. Now Gabrich gets it through. But they're too quick off the ball, man. They really are. Gruber. Good catch. Throws it out. Irigo and Bravo has the space to run. Should be a speedy man, yet he can't even break this, the line. They can't even be bothered to like close him down or whatever. And, and they still catch up to him quite easily. Which is ridiculous. Dicks with it. And here's Gaston Pereiro. Yes, good clearance. Oh, there's an injury. No, it was on the shoulder. He landed badly on it, I think. I think it's his left shoulder. Heck, he's hurt. Rita's still standing there in the midfield. So. Now he's back up. Tech, he's back up. That's good. Because he's good to run the injury off. Jesus, these possessions just take forever to disintegrate. To just drag you one. Lozano, the cross in. So, oh, what is Jacobs doing? Seriously, another fucked up reflex mechanic. Just lunge for the ball when they're nowhere near it. Oh, Techie's off. He's got a good ball in, but Mbemba's there. Yes, Techie, he doesn't have the symbol of the injury anymore. That's a good sign. Fofana. Yes, fake shot. Come on, Fofana. That's a goal. Yes, Fofana. Well in. That is an away goal as well. We needed that big time. Now, PSV have well, to score goal, in the other game, unless the they game. somehow he turn the tables here, it. which they haven't uh, shown that they can do that, to be honest. Let's pile on the pressure here. Hendricks has it. Ferrero. Let's see what he has in store for them. And here's Ramsalar. Ramsalar Deeks. Just drifted into the illegal position offside in the opinion of the officials. Fofana, that is quick. Come on, Fofana. Run, mate. Well, Jacobs, well done. So jogging, I can't break that, that guy. Should be able to just go past it. Yeah, he just jogs. Jockey's back. Fofana, we'll cross in. Rita was close on winning the head of that. First touch was stylish by Morales. Yes, Alder Leal going for the shot. It's well wide. That's going to be it for the first half. 1 0 to Parma. And, uh,
it is the first leg of this Europa League round of 32 time. That is probably how the game is going to finish if we stay like that. Your second half is on the way. Lozano's on the wall. It's Watch out. There he is again. Come on, Morales. You've been shocking all day. Thank goodness the defence can deal with the crosses. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his yes. contribution. Through ball. Yes. Kovac is onside. He could score for the first time. What a shame, man. I wish Kovac was a little bit stronger in them situations. They're a bit quicker. A bit of both would have definitely helped. Get him a goal there. I don't think he has scored before. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Good tackle. Hendricks has it. And here's Ramsalar. Promising looking ball. There's Lozano, skips past one guy, ball inside, Gruber collects. Bofana, he's off. Look how fast the PSV player is compared to mine. Yes, good ball in, come, oh seriously, it's blocked by the back of the head. Oh, that is the worst block ever. And they still it's managed to get away Rosario. with it. Oh, Ramzalar. Ball inside to the back post. And that's nowhere near. Guess Olfana did enough anyway. Bad ball. Really bad ball. Oh, that... Come on, seriously, man. Another chuffing penalty because the animations are fucked up. All of a sudden he shields the ball. Seriously? Oh my god, I'm, I'm so done. I can't wait for this to be fucking finished. Already. Because the game's fucked up. Has he still got the subs through? No, they haven't. Alright. Um... Banasi's coming on instead of uh... hmm. Yeah, I'll literally all can stay. Nice no, tight. It's gonna have to be these three. Really, we need to score more than one goal, well, the has a especially penalty, away. It's a big no thing. Well, I think the score away goals, to be honest with you. especially now with the penalty. Oh, it's gone to the right. I don't think anyone really questioned him. One all. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. It's good through ball. Cross into the mixer and nothing out of it. Like it evaporates. A chance is gone. Kovac, what a ball. Yes, oh, Gallo couldn't connect with it. Didn't have. It wasn't really uh, squared up with the goal nicely. Yes, that's what fucked up his shot. Had to swerve the foot around the ball to. Even get it in the trajectory of the goal. It, through ball doesn't work. Cover it perfectly like always. Same with crosses, man. Oh, come on. That didn't went out. Fuck off. He has teammates to play it to. Rito. Come on, Verde. Will there be a tangible end product? Yes, Fofana. Rito. Take this sh Thunder seriously. Just and nobody goes there. Are you kidding me? Yorick Hendricks. Now, what can he do here? 
Is he going to punish them here? Let's see what he has in store for them. How can he make this move count? He has time to play it over. Carrying a genuine threat here. Well, Ranslas offside. That's like good. That, One on final side, attack. I think the officials got it correct. Well, you Everybody up you for this. Defender, and he was so close to staying on side. Uh, Reads see, out Garcia Ligeia. Can't get it through. Pangelista. Lozano. Ramzalar Lozano again. Good sh oh come on, how is that a foul? Fuck off ref. Seriously, you fucking disgust me. Your foul calls are so fucking stingy man. With ours, with theirs it's always fine. Well, that could be his you when they fucking foul us, it's always fine. It's not a foul. Nice and strong, told the player exactly what he was thinking. No, that, come on. Finally, a fucking foul blown our way. I am blown away, literally. And of course, it doesn't pass to the right guy. That is one old gonna have to settle it at the Stadio Ennio Tardini. I kind of wish I scored a, a second goal or that that penalty wouldn't have happened. That would have been perfect, but nah. Game's gotta be wank about it, so. You know, fuck's sake. It's all to play for. If they hold out with the 0 0 draw, we win. Ecuador FA we still haven't got Cortez and we haven't had anyone else so easy reject there. Let's bet see it again. This should be a win, it is three nil win, pardon me. And uh, Ujevic giving me the D, like literally, all agility, ball control and dribbling. Y you can't get any closer than not going up with that. At least Bruno had an A, he's up to a 77 now. Doing well for himself. Might train Gavrich instead of Rito now. It's looking like he has kind of developed now. Let's have a look at uh, Rita's stats. Good thing is that uh, Gabrich is one year younger than the rest, but he is quite behind. So, for us to train him, kind of have to start right now. Marking and. Where's the slide tackle? Quite meh at this point. Could easily train that. Heading accuracy only at 67. Another thing that he needs badly. Could train his agility up as well in the drilling. We'll see about that. Right, home game against PSV. Been a pretty piss poor game. Do I play it? I think so. We'll do it for the home fans. And this time, they can play Gutierrez. So, there you go. Evangelista drops to the bench. We've got that 58 overall player for no reason. Firpo's on and Bemba, Bruma, Deeks. 
Where's the... This runs a lot. So... Malin can play up top. Pereiro can play on the right. Lozano can play on the left. Just an easy job to put Van Zalista up top. It really is. Ramzala can only play Cam. He stays put. Same with Anyor. Larson can do both wings though. That's really helpful. Hope they play Unal for a bit at least. But as for the rest, Ofana again, disappointing. Gotta be honest. Flazic. Right foot. Kovac on for Bacini. Rover on. Uh, Fofana off. I think it was disappointing. We'll put Garcia Ligea there. Jacobs and Verde are back. We'll uh, put Uruguay and Bravo who is quality. Teki and Solortiz. Go with that. And later Leal on the bench with Mevlia. Put Ujevic in there. Callo as the winger. And we'll put Rito in if he's fit. He is. Good thing. Banassi's not fit playing in the league. So we'll leave Bacini there. Um, anything else? We could play this guy on the wing if we really need to. So we're good, I'd say. Morales. Morales wasn't that great, let's face it. Gonna bench him for a game. Second leg. Here we go. Good evening on what is, I regret to have to report, a pretty unpleasant night. The rain has been lashing down here. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for... All right, round 32, second leg. Time for one of the biggest games in the Parliament so history. Oh, very excited about this one, Derek. We had a cracker of a first leg, with so little to split between the two sides. Parma are... Winning on aggregate at the moment due to away goals. All we want is to do better than the last result, which is to either draw 0 no, 0 or win lane. the game. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. It's all about translating threats into goals. Come on, Gavridge, win that header. That's it, mate. He never loses out in the air. Didn't know that about Gabridge. That first touch was appalling. Still somehow get it away. Yes, Zanalato. Lovely work. Through ball. Jacobs gets it over to Solartiz. No space to manoeuvre. No support either. And you know what happens after that. Ferrero. Good ball through. Vangelista can't be stopped. Oh my god, they scored already. Jesus Christ, how easy is, this? is it for them to just go through and score? And of course my players felt fucking shit slow. For me to score in the last time. 
so I couldn't get my second goal. And now they've already scored one. Same amount of goals that we scored away in the other game. Wow. Pisses me off to no end. That. So easy, wasn't it? Just to cut the fucking deficit. Here is Garcia Ligeia. Yes, cross in. That's a great ball, but Guti's there. Fuck off. Run it superbly to take back possession. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. Pereiro. Yes, oh come on, go back, keep it in, seriously. Is he going to punish them here? Element of risk there, but he's That's the good ball. Oh come on, seriously. Give the fuck for. over with this. Oh give the fuck over. Seriously. Honestly, I should have just simmed this game. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have definitely simmed the game. Oh my goodness, how bad is this game? See, the CP would have scored from there. That's what I have a problem with. It's not about losing, it's about how you lose. Take that bitch. That was foul play, but advantage it is. Techie. Yes. Good ball. That's it. Here we go in, Bravo. Come on. We need a goal. <laughs> and he totally doesn't play it right. Yes, here we go in, Bravo. Cleared away always. Fucking predictable that. Now let's see, does he mean business? Lazic pushed off the ball. Obviously they're going to build their fucking Fort Knox. That is really a thing. Of course I can't keep it in. And they can. See, see what I fucking mean. Oh my god. Beyond me how this happens. 2019 lads, 2019. But will they produce from this position? Let's see. That's a great ball, by the way. Here we go in, Bravo. And cleared away. I, I give up with walking it in. It's just not working. It really isn't. Ball through. Mallon. Gavrich. Oh, come on. It's going to go out for a fucking corner. Are you fucking joking now? The delivery. Fucking disgusting game. Take and that. Have the fucking the free kick. I don't care. Get off me, fucking fat fuck. And it's gone behind for the corner. And a deep ball in. Well, the header, there you go. Yeah, That's it, Gruber. That. Catch it that, and pass it to the wrong man, of course. We haven't had enough of that today. To Fuck off, to game. So that we can't have a little car attack. Oh, would you fuck off already? Just for, I for Ajax, I am thinking about breaking a rule about this. I'm thinking of sticking three absolute fucking worldies with the sliders on. Because it's been that fucking bullshit. Alright? Or just fucking simming until we win, kind of thing. Because it's really pissing me off. Vladic's been poor. He just has.
Well, all our attack, there's no other way. They're going to be even more defensive than they were in the first half. That is for sure. Even though you can't get much more defensive than that. Ball is in, it's 3 0. Oh, of course. Of fucking course. Kickoff glitch, of course. Why didn't I see this coming, for fuck's sake? Through ball, that nah, doesn't work. Yes, oh yes, that's a passing game. Oh, come on, Zoet. Seriously. Fuck right off. My keeper wouldn't have saved that. Cross in, ah, cleared. Got 11 players in the box. How the fuck are we supposed to score? Pereiro. Well, he's got plenty of space. Oh here. dear me, that's a ball. Poor ball. Garcia Leger is going to get to it. No, he isn't. No, forget that. Forget that. Just get red carded. I'm done. I'm done with your Europa League. I really am. It's a fucking nightmare to play in here. I mean, Morecambe won it quite easily, but. Parma just chokes. You know? They face the PSV and they get fucking shitted on. Not even pissed on. Absolutely take everyone dumps on them. Everything. Don't know why, but it's true. Now he must favour the cross. Terrific. Well actually we know why, because CA can't fucking do a game. That's why. Should just change their fucking career. Carrying a genuine threat here. Yes, Gallo finished, that's one. At least we get a consolation. We need three more goals for the miracle to happen. Of course PSV would shaft us with three away goals. Like, totally seen it coming after only being able to score one goal with the amount of chances we got in the last game. Totally saw it coming. And now they're just passing it around us. Oh. There we go, there's the shot. Yes, oh, good ball. There's Gallo. Ball over the top. Kovac is quite tired here. Gonna have to lay this off, and it will be a corner. Why does nobody come short already? Press the fucking button. What's wrong with you? Gabrich with the header, Zoet with the stylish dive for it, I guess. Kind of call it that. Kind of that. Mention is there in the first place. Hendricks has it. Yorit Hendricks. Pereiro. PSV has given it away. Zanolato. Forward, Jacobs back heel, Bacini tackled, no foul given. Ref plays on, that's a penalty. We've got another lifeline here. After it gave the other guys a lifeline, it gives us one. Here is Jacobs. J just, no, I can't yeah. believe it I've missed a few myself, but that was just wide, but it's still a miss. Over. That's it. That was a chance. Of course we get a penalty. And we completely make it not work. Good ball through to Rito. That kinda worked. And so it's gonna collect quite easily there. That's going to be it for this game. Honestly, what's going on with the scoreboard? That is broke as fuck. I'm sweating so much, but I don't care. I really don't. Good header back by Gavrich. It's 
It would have been worse without him. 100%. But Cheney gets blocked off, of course. Everything is blocked off with these guns. And there's the fourth. Oh no, there isn't. Oh, alright. Scoreboard's still broken. Like this game. Yeah, that's it. That is it for Parma's Europa League attempt. A big shame that they can't win it, but really, not their fault. Not their fault at all. Absolutely shat on by this game. Great work, we reached the round of 16, wasn't it? Whatever the goal was. 1-1 one, one draw with Lazio. Yeah, they wanted us to win it. So we failed that. We did reach the earnings, so that's a good thing. Just need to finish in the Europa League spot. In a way for Champions League spot, actually. For that we need to be Roma next. Roma away. Big game in the season. That's a 1-0 loss. Of course it is. Fucking love it when that happens. You know. Oh, I'm too pissed off about this. I really am because it really isn't my player's fault. It isn't. That's what pissing me off. Gonna see how the next games go. At least we can still win something in the cup. Which I'd take, honestly, over the Europa League because we're not gonna come back to, it uh, to Italy next season. I don't think so. So it'd be nice to win the cup and the league. But the league's still going on and it's looking unlikely. We're 8 points away from AC Milan, after all. 3-0 win against Cagliari. Do jump Roma again. Juventus just about hanging on to the, that, to the last spot in the Champions League. Really interesting to see that. They're really struggling now to keep up. All of their best players have retired now and they're just like hanging around top four. Torino next, their fifth. Big game this. In between the Bologna Coppa Nazionale tie. So. We'll see if Bologna are fighting for relegation or something. Because I think they are in our league. Oh, I forgot to put Gabrich on the training. We'll um, we'll do that next um, next training. Semi-finals with Bologna. We are away. That's a bit of a turn down. And Bologna a tenth. So, we can play the semi-finals. It's on aggregate, so it's on both legs. We'll see when the second leg is. It is at the end of April. Very much like the Portuguese Cup, actually. 
we'll uh, play this. And uh, we are rivals. Interesting. Saki one for Dragovic. No, no, there. No brainer. This guy can only play on the right wing. This guy can play on the right. You go left. Bon Garcia Leger here. You go in. Kingsley can be the striker. Valencia Cam. Lee's Malui can play on the wing. It's pretty good. We'll leave you at that though. As for strikers, we'll go for Fazic. Uh, we'll go for Rito and Uyevich. The good old buddies from the Serie B days. Gavrich is also playing for Zanalato. Bacini's playing. Carito is going to play instead of Kovac. And I think we can try Vigarito out there. Boschko is not available. Going to leave Uruguay and Bravo available as well. Going to play Mevlia. We're going to play Marino and we're going to put, I think we're going to put Lundgren on the bench and we'll put Aslan on. Yeah, Plazic on the bench as well and we'll put Kova out and we'll put Arvidsson actually on. All right. I'm going to go for a wee whilst this loads. This is the heart of the matter of this competition, of course. This for a place in the final. Two very good sides to contest this semi-final here. Moments away from kickoff. Join us for that, and it's live. All right, we're the back. Italian supporters are out in force today, as you would expect. It is Bologna against Parma. because we're down to the semi-final stage of the Coppa Nazionale, the Italian Domestic Cup. Yeah, and I think Dan the years with associated Italian football with being a little defensive. Close, I'm getting the ball there. These two teams have scored plenty of goals to get to this stage. We have Bologna playing today, playing against Parma. And here's the shot. Save. Esposito's playing, actually. I would have played him, but I actually didn't notice who was playing keeper. Guess he's a shot stopper for the day. Through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Here's a couple of players who you might keep a special eye out for today. Alan Smith's certainly going to do that. 
Jimenez, goal, and again Jimenez, good save Esposito man. 90 overall keeping right there. Oh, tackle, of course it doesn't get the ball. He's just going from side to side, he's pissing me off. That's a, uh, no that's not a yellow card for Bruno, never mind. I thought that was a yellow card. Quite uh, lenient on not giving it there. Vujovic heads it away. And Marino, I mean, what, what was I thinking then? Kill him. Right, another free kick this far. This time it's a bit further away from the goal. Nice, but it, it is equally dangerous. Oh, that touch from Ujevic, that. That was pretty cool. What kind of pass is that? Same thing could be said for the CPU one. Marino. Through ball for Ujevic. Looking for a player in the box, Miguel gets a touch on it, and it's not going to roll out for a corner, but Mevlia will get it back. Miguelito on for Marino. Wiovic can't get it through to his strike partner. Wiovic gets tackled again. There's no space for him. Come on, lads. Get him in a better position. Jimenez. Neatly intercepted. Come on. Reverse pass is weak as piss. Working hard. Weaker than my leg is at the moment. Of goal. Just taking the heat out of the moment, the ball back to the goalkeeper. Come on. Carito. Fucking heavy touch too late. Ah! Uh, oh my God! Finally, it. ref. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Esuivic through. Rita's has got no space, man. Got a five-man defense. That's why it's actually a three-man defense. But wingers play like wing backs in that formation, so. Really, it's a 5 3 2. It's just got nothing going forward. Look at how further back the wingers are. No great danger here, but they've got the Ridiculously ball. The back. And they get it away. They're wing backs at this point. They really are. Doncer not going the short with the corner. Shots Could be a goal this. A Yeti skies it. Talk about making a hash of your opportunity there. Yeah. Total waste. Retail, yes. Through ball. Here is Aslan. Come on, Aslan, just run. Yeah, oh, fuck's sake. You can't just square it nicer. Ball back has to be to Marino. Otherwise he's getting tackled. Oh, through ball, there we go. Great ball, that. Aslan through. Unattended, in the box. That is his first goal in the Copa Nazionale. 44th minute. That is close call to half time. But it is a goal nonetheless. And we needed that. That away goal. You know how crucial they were for Ajax in the other game now, can he take them on? and I was not getting it it was a big big surprise if we buried that penalty and if we had scored more than one away goal like we should have we would have won the tie yes Figueroa good skill that will do. Cross into the back post. Centre backs there always. Every fucking day of the week. Good tackle that. And we get the ball. What a challenge that was. 
Yes, Ujevic through to Marino, he's onside, but Miguel does a good job. It is a corner kick. Aslan cross into the box, that's pretty poor one. Yes, through ball, we've played it so well and it's going to go out for another corner. No, it isn't. Play that so well. Look how close we are to getting the ball as well. Oh man, this is how they get through. Look at this. Yes, Pacini. That's it, son. Good challenge. Ujevic, good turn. Needs a player to run into space. That's Marino. Good back heel through. Ujevic just about misses out on it. Or Berlin. Jimenez. For you, of course. Bruno just kicks it away. Why? We'll be facing Inter away from home. Well, given their respective form, I think this is going to be. That's a good not a foul. There you go, referee. Stage. Way to go, Mevlia. Well done. Just kick it forward for Bruno. Playing Juventus in their next yes. Match. Oh, what a ball! We could whack this. It's Aslan. Oh. Nobody's been here since I left. True, true that. Actually, uh, actually, kind of in two worlds about that. Cause one, it's bad. Cause nobody wants to watch it. On the other hand, it's been quite a poor stream because it's gone badly in the Europa League. Oh, take that. So. I mean, I don't know what to think about that, to be honest. If you're having bad views, at least you want the bad views to go on the bad videos, don't you? So, there you go. It's not one of my best videos, not gonna lie. I guess you can kind of see it. And I've been swearing a lot, just because I've been utter pissed with the... The shambolic gameplay. I was proper raided in that Ajax, put in, the corner. Did well in that PSV him. game, the job. Shots on here. Expect him to save proper that. raided, smashed three away goals when we could only get one and spend the whole game peppering the goal, like five minutes in they had scored one, mid first half they've already had two. We've already done more in half a half than we did all fucking game in the Netherlands. That's some bullshit right there. Ian Robertson, how are you doing mate? I am doing just fine. Quite pissed at the result of this uh, this um, season, but other than that, just fine. Yeah, yeah, true. Very odd. I mean, not odd because still, FIFA, 15, FIFA, FIFA 15, what am I thinking, right? Uh, FIFA 19 is quite bad. The go. Pez is out, the Beta is out. It's really everything. Oh yes, Ujevic, that's 2-0, that's game over. Right there. Yeah, FIFA 19 is at the end of the cycle. Everyone's playing Pez or Fortnite or FIFA or whatever. FIFA 20 in the beta. At least for English native speakers in the UK and USA. They have the code. The others are watching that at the moment. And uh, I can't blame them. I can't say I blame them. I just blame the beta testers for just making the most for personal use rather than trying to help out the game, every other people that gets it. If you're applying for a beta code, you should test the game, that's what you're supposed to do, but nah. There's always so many picks that you find on the... On, uh, so, so, much, so much stuff that you find on... Uh, the internet 
about the beta. And that is just sad, because beta shouldn't be like that. That's not the purpose of it. I haven't been playing FIFA 19 for eight. Mate, I wouldn't have played FIFA 19 at all if it wasn't for this channel. Seriously. I wouldn't. I scored when? When did you score in? I, I didn't see it, but <laughs> if you did score, I do apologize. Let me have a look. Let me have a look at Bologna. Yeah. I mean, if it's slow, but it, if you're as quick as the CPU, then that's good. Oh, you mean the face? Oh, uh, it's weird, bitch, I think. It's pretty close to your face, actually. Pretty close. Uh, I kind of remember. Kind of remember it being quite similar. Interestingly. Um, Roman jumpers in the table. Piemonte Calcio next. And I think it's time for Morales to get in. But Nassi's on as well. We can face Juventus. But I don't think we. Do we have the time? It's a uh, quarter to, th to 1 pm. So no, not really. I'd like to do a second stream where we just play the final. But then again, it would only be the final. I think I can play this. I think I will play this. Alright, changes to the team sheet done. We're away against Juventus. As a test was Seri our credentials. Rivals of course. There's the ball up top. No Ronaldo anymore. Thank goodness. They're playing at right mid. That's below 70 overall. At right back. To end off. What are you doing? Because they didn't sign a right back. Good. Zinchenko can do that, to be honest. He's played everywhere. Robinson's left footed. Siraki's left footed. Rodriguez can play on the left hand side of the defense. Piaka there, Zinchenko as the backup, Crows in for Clemenza. For now, Favili is a bit tired. Rodri and Stones are out. Two big casualties there. Take Favili out. Ryan Bertrand's now at 68. What is going on, seriously? Doraro Gundogan is a 78 overall now. Dropping quite a lot. I think we're going to take Lemenza here. Piaka can play in the middle. Zinchenko can play as a midfielder if they really need it. I think we're good with this lineup. Esposito is now 91. Going to bring on Grover though. And I think. We're going to give a shot to Gabrich out wide. Oh, he's tired. He's tired. We're going to leave him out then. I think it's a good time to bring on Lundgren. And bring on Boschko. So Gallo off. We'll bring Irigan Bravo to the bench. Or Fofana, wherever he is. Fofana, Aldair Leal on for Ismail. 
and Irregard and Bravo. You get in. Robles is looking cheat code stuff. Looking like an absolute cheat code. Oh no, it's Piemonte Calcio. It's true. It's damn true. Hopefully they fix defenders being faster than 90 pace player. Exactly! Exactly, man. Like, I don't care if the gameplay is slow. I care if a 90 pace player all paces a, a 37 like a Mertesacker. It's as simple as that. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness for that. I don't really care if the gameplay is slow, as long as the pace is fixed of the players. And the passing and the... If it enormous. feels slow, Every I don't care if it feels slow. Teams, it is a very day. It's actually a good thing, because... Before, and you could just whip, whack that forward and someone would run onto it. Hi there again. Welcome to if there's a balance there, here, balance where Smith, that doesn't happen, two, and FIFA 19 six. doesn't happen, that's good, even if the gameplay feels here slow. Today, Juventus, a that's a good gameplay right there. Because it's realistic. If you have a good pace, you should be able to outpace the well, defenders. The but if the defenders are within reach of you, they should use their strength against you. Yes, Morales. Through. Here is Boschko. Yes, come on, Boschko. That's the finish. First game I've played with him. Three minutes in, he's already scored. I mean, I know, I know, right? That is just mental how that happens. You should just be quicker. Mia Bjorn is like one of the fastest fuckers in this game. Or in that game. And he gets outpaced for a long ball. What? By a 46 overall in acceleration, by the way. Yes, Techie! Oh, good save. Good save by Perrin there. Cross in. Yes, Rodriguez. Header again. Not happening. Jacobs. A bit. Uh. Bit heavy on the Mid tackle, Sterling. but it is a fair one. Dybala. So we'll let it slide. A chance to break away now on the counter. Here's the Lewis. legs move slow, but they go Bale fast. Verde. Ha ha. Done well under pressure I guess. I guess that works. I don't care if the legs move slow the and they go fast. The more matters is the fucking tributes. That's what they're there for. They're there for a reason. To mean something. Why do you look at attributes every time you have a signing? Because they mean something. Or should it mean something? Oh, what a goal. What a goal by Lundgren. I didn't throw the cross was in, but... You know, we're going to have to look at that in the instant replay. Great ball through. I think it's Techie here on the wing. Ball is crossed. They know it does pick out Lundgren's head. That is a great goal. 2 0 against Juventus. Absolutely bossing it. After being. Uh, after getting a big old spanking by PSV, we find ourselves in the right side of a battering for once. And it's against the mighty Piemonte Calcio of all people, of all clubs. It's the them. Team out with a quick break here. Well, here is Garcia Leger. Crosses in. Techie going for the head of Perrin. Parries it away. It was a close call. Ian Robertson would have been proud of that save. 
Good place to win the ball here. There you go, Jacobs. Ooh, he's 99 long the shots there. Don't really use them, to be fair. Kind of need to use them more, but it gets blocked every time. Doesn't mean as much when they get blocked every time. Suzanne Arthur's got a book in now. It's a bit bad. And what a save by Gruber. He wants this clean sheet. That is a save. Oh, another save by Gruber. What a keeper. What a keeper we've got. We've been really lucky with the keepers, though, in this year. That's why I haven't conceded some really poor goals. If it wasn't for defenders to give you away, you know. Because keepers never let in bad goals. Unless they're just a glitch or something. It's not their fault at all. Because they're quality. At least the ones that we've had. Esposito has his on and off moments. But Gruber and McNeil are just... Absolutely... Dons. Dons. I wouldn't put him in Nunez level yet but they are reaching for it. I think McNeil slightly Great better ball. than Gruber oh, that was a close but call. overall they are pretty close right. he was spot on with this live challenge well, the has gone up for two minutes Dybala. now he's got the ball what's he gonna do oh yes Verde what a fake shot that was Going forward, well. Let's take it through. Shot Jacobs shot is Robert in. Not going to be parent from range. No, he's too Come good. Crossing Zanolato and Perrin catches it again. Well, can't five. score. I really can't. So here we go with the second half. All right. Here we go. Take it. That's a tremendous piece of play. On the attack here. Ball roll. Yes. Oh, ball across. Techie should have buried that. That was a good chance. Too good for him to pass on. To be honest. And now Bernardo Silva. Well, the that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence Rose. on this first half. That was a Red good first again. Some of the runs he made were really impressive, and a goal yes, left well to them, of course. Just needs to Ball, keep it up. Ball, Lundgren. Every chance has got it back straight Substitute away. Too easy for them, isn't it? Coming up on EA Sports, the Serie A. Yeah, keep, keep on running, Garcia Legea. That's it, mate. Look at how slow my guy is on the ball. Yes, ball through. Oh, I'm in a chance yeah, force of the header. Does well to push Jacobs away, but Here comes the pretty annoying. Yes, header Morales is scored. What a pick out that was. I think that was Jacobs from the corner. What a delivery that is, and the header is pinpoint. Perrin has no chance. And uh, Morales is not going to go off after that. I'm going to bring on uh, Sol Ortiz for the last few minutes. Boschka's been quality. I think Gallo should get a game. Or if Ofana. Probably test him out on the right hand side. And uh, bring Gallo on to the middle. We know he's good there. Or maybe, just maybe play Garcia Leger in the middle. Go. Bernardo Silva and the Dybala combining. Scary. 
bit scary to be honest. Full Fauna. Oh, he was offside. Shame there, he was. Did look like he was on, but probably the right call there. Becky. There's something this game is accurate with. It's offside calls. It's not like there are many shocking ones. It's not tough to get wrong though. Dybala. Not tough to get it right though. There you Juventus. go. Good challenge by Benassi. That's out for a throw in. Keep the clean sheet, boys. And jobs are good in. Piazza. Emre Chan. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. Can really get at the opposition. Mussolini. Yes. Oh, tackle in. Well done, Kovac. Crosses in. Grover with the easy collect. Through ball. Yes. Oh, Verde couldn't chip it over the top. Kovac. Good ball. Yes. Forward Samuel Teki. Keep on running, son. Shot is in. Finish. It's 4 0 against Juventus. Absolute scenes here. It's a mighty Piemonte Calcio are getting battered. Absolutely thumped on. Bernardo Silva. There's good progress with this attack. And here's the shot. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but it's Grover. Kick off field. Yes, Teki steals it away. Through ball for his strike partner. Here is Sol Ortiz. Cross in. Ruben Diaz is there. Well, they line up for the corner. Going short with the corner. Here is Fofana, what a ball inside, Gallo with the header, it's gone over. I think it's uh, skimmed the roof of the net on the way out. I'm amazed, Dallant, what we've watched because couldn't split them when yes, you Morales. the teams at the start. Very similar players, very Birdie. similar stats going into the game. Not the ball I wanted there, but that'll do. Well, it has, I mean, the scoreline would suggest that. Throwing for us, Ofana. It's nowhere near where I wanted to pass chances. it. Guess I'll be for the pressure. 88 minutes played here. It's Bernardo Silva. Piazza. Piazza. Good challenge, Danilato. Come on. How have we not got the ball there? Piazza. Piaka, he's taken out, That's he really was. Tackle, really. It's a book in for Morales that he didn't need. Yes, that's an easy header out. Oh, come on, Zanalato. Yes, keep the clean sheet, boys, again. Kind of mention enough times how important it is we keep the clean sheet. That's it. Full time, and it's full nil against Piemonte Calcio aka Juventus absolutely battered them into next Tuesday Samuel Teki with the man of the match 9.5 what a performance like honestly what a performance Oh, I forgot the training again. I need to train Gabrich. I really need to.
Oh, Gary F. I got no Gary in my squad. N not even the super sub anymore. God, the super sub was fun. Don't tell me there's a training injury. Thank goodness. 275k on the wage. We're just gonna renew contracts now because I am gonna forget. Yes, Morales is in. So is uh, Gruber. Gonna renew Carrizo. And we're also going to renew Akin Aslan. Anyone else with a silly release clause? I think it's a good time to bring back Jong Su Chang. Not entirely sure though. Bin has gone up, that's good. But he's not going up at the rate that we want him to. He just isn't. AC Milan next. And we know they've got a good squad. Just part of the Juventus. Got our revenge against Inter Milan earlier in this um, save. We fight, we faced AC Milan in the first day. We can definitely beat them. For the Simon, I'll put Gallo off team sheet. I'll take Santoso Jasper off as well. I'll bring Fofana. And I'll also bring on Alder Leal. Carita will take that spot. Puccini will go in for Benassi. And that's pretty much accurate all right that is the main starting lineup now Mevli just misses out got Lundgren at 82 so he goes in all right home to AC Milan Save it up right here. This game is not trustworthy at all. See how these guys do against AC Milan in the simming. And it's a 1-0 win. Get in. Ballerin is injured. That is a much needed victory. We've emptied our wage budget and lost a bit of money. But in the end, we're doing all right. We really are in terms of cash. That's something I cannot complain with Palmer whatsoever. The board have been nice with me. They just keep a lot of money to themselves sometimes with the transfers, but they do give me a lot of money at the start of the season. So I can't really complain. A 1-0 win against Benevento as well. Pretty good. Milan are slipping away. We could win this Harry Art title. We've just beaten the leaders. Just smashed Juventus. We're still in the running. Three points away. From quite the astonishing feat to be honest. Next home next game is at home against the Swolo. Board says we're not on track, don't care. We're gonna finish in the UA for Champions League but we might even win the thing. Do we I think we do since the Swallow because it is at home. That's a 2-1 win. We can afford to sim Bologna. Got quite the advantage from the first leg. Don't forget, take Rito off the training. We'll put 
Gavrich in there. He's gone off to a 73, which is good. Still developing. Interceptions are pretty poor. Marking and slide tackle are all right. Marking is meh. So, no brainer here. Gonna go. Actually, let's have a look at the uh, shooting drill, the one that has heading accuracy. It's got 67. It's not too bad, so it definitely needs more the defensive training. When uh, Bruno reached about 80 overall, as well as Gallo, then yeah, I think I'll consider actually putting Gabrich on the heading accuracy drill. It's at home. We have a 2-0 advantage. And I think AC Milan went through to the final. They won on away goals against Juventus. We absolutely smashed them, so we didn't want that final, to be honest. And uh, next up is Bologna. And I think this side can do it. I really think this side can do it. Um... Gavrich Gavrich at right back? He could do a job there. Uh, Marino, Aslan, Bruno. Bruno can get a game. Wiovic, don't think he's the best goal. I'm going to bring in Fazic. Now I'm going to leave Wiovic. I'm going to... Hmm... What am I going to do? Right wing. Right wing, what have we got? I think it's best to play. I think it's best to play Bruno. Um, Carrizo. Want Benassi there. Want Benassi. Wing backs. We do have Kovac. Gonna leave it as it is, I think. I think this is a pretty good starting lineup. We're gonna put um if it's Lopez then we've got to put Gruber in, but if it's Gruber then it's alright. Right. We shouldn't be bottling a two nil aggregate lead. Especially against Bologna not being in the top six. Come on. So 2-1 loss, that'll do. And uh, we are ever closer to nicking the tile off Milan. Next game, they play on the 26th. So we do know what they're up to in the table before we play our next game. See if they give us a chance. They don't back down. That is a good win for Milan. They needed it badly. Udinese next. This team also needs to win then. All right. It's a one nil win. Just about, they get it done. I'm gonna use something to make up for a Gabrich's uh, lack of training. I'm gonna use these on him. All right. And of course, he gives me the C. Wiovic makes the most of it with an A. No injuries, please. Offer rescinded. Yeah, don't care about that. Okay, good. No, no injuries. Thank God. Phew. 
Next game against Palermo. See if Milan play before as they don't. When do they play? They play in the same day. If it's going to go down to the last game of the season, I will leave it for the episode. Interesting. All right. So away against Palermo. Save it up. Back up. I will leave this if it is the final day. And we'll play the final game of the season. And we will play the Coppa Nazionale final. Against AC Milan. Both stare downs. With the Milan club. That's a two all draw. And Morales gets injured. Nah, I'm not taking injuries into the final. Three months, I'm not taking that. I'd rather lose and get no injuries. I'm not taking the injury, man. That's the one thing I'm not taking. Good thing I saved it. Because we can go again. And that's 2 0 win. That's more like it, boys. Thankfully, no injuries and thankfully, no suspensions as well. But I wouldn't have uh, reloaded for those. Just the, in the long term injury right before a final. Like, nah. Not happening. Get out of here. And Gabrich gives me the F. Oh. Come on, Gabrich. Just do it, lad. Next up, Inter Milan. Ooh, this is tense. Home against Inter Milan. Don't think I have the time to play this. So it is a coin toss. It is quite the difficult coin toss to do. Parma against Inter. We'll get a one-all draw. That's not enough though. Unless Milan have slipped up themselves. Which they haven't. They've won three points away. I doubt the title will be ours. I want to finish second though. At the very least we'll finish second. Roma slipped up, so that is probably already confirmed. One nil win against Verona, and we'll make sure to play a poor side in the last game of the season. Milan have won. Congratulations to them. It's pretty much done, isn't? It? Unless they've got a big opponent. Coming up, but then again, they beat they beat Juventus. Like, there's not much. It's a swallow. Like, they're never gonna lose to swallow. I've already secured second place, so I'm gonna throw out wimps for the final. Before the final, actually, players that are not gonna play. For example, Lopez. Arvidsson's not gonna play. Vlasic. Don't think he's gonna play. Ismail's not going to play. Marino might just play, being an 80 overall. Carrizo, don't think he's going to play. Aslan, not going to play. Bruno, not going to play. Weavich might play, so Fazic is on. Lundgren, I'm going to leave Robles in. Or do we go with someone else? Hmm. Dressed in one. I think I'm going to put Lundgren on the bench. Fofana on the bench as well. For you. Gavrich off. It's going off for Marino. Igorita can do wing back if they need it. And uh, we'll put. But who? 
as a defender, Alder Leal can go in. I think that's pretty much the ones that I wouldn't play in this final. Actually, we'll uh, switch Robles with Lundgren. Yes, we'll save it right there. Final game of the season is away. Actually, no, it's at home against Fiorentina. Fifth place, Fiorentina. We're going to go on to Europe. And it's a 1-0 loss. <laughs> okay. All right. Use another one of these manager focused training. Why not? And Cabbage likes to give me the D when the fucking thing is on. D squared. And final game of this season we'll leave it for later down this this day it'll be AC Milan against Parma and I think we'll we'll leave this quarter poor for the next time when we're done with the final Absolute state in this. Only play the round of 16, the quarterfinals, and the semis. Kind of skipped over the semis, to be honest. After that 2 0 win, you knew we weren't bottling it. Final standings of the league, though, that's what we're here to see. Go up, there we go. We finished second. Milana champions, they beat Roma. They've been a very good opposition to play against. They've smashed the Swallow 4-1 in the last day. And yeah, that is it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'm going to see you all next time, which will be after I have lunch with this Coppa Nazionale final. And until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.